Okay, so this is that number six from the board yesterday, and I asked you to find the acceleration. Now, before we do this problem, okay, I've told you to draw pictures and to also state which way is positive, okay? This one, it definitely matters because these are going in opposite directions. So if you don't think about what's positive, you'll mess up the problem. Which way would you guys like to be positive in this right. problem? To the right. So if I get an answer that is positive, that means the acceleration is to the? Right. right. And if I get an answer that's negative, that means the acceleration was to the? Right. Left. Okay. All right, so let's go ahead and calculate. So I'm going to write acceleration equals change in velocity over time. I'm going to expand that out. You don't have to write this step on the test. You can go right to Vf <coughs> minus V0 over T. This is acceleration, right? Yes. Oh, sorry, not V0. You guys are used to you could, you could. V initial. Okay. All right, so now, which one of these was the finish? I labeled it. So this is a car that's going 3 meters per second, and we check in with it 5 seconds later, and now it's going the other way at two meters. two meters per second, okay? So what is V final? Two meters per second. Negative two Negative. meters per second. Because which way is the velocity going? To the left. And we've said that right is positive. So to the left is negative, okay? If it's not positive, it has to be negative. Simple as that, okay? So we're gonna put in a negative two meters per second, okay, minus, the initial velocity. Which way is the initial velocity going? To positive. the right. So it is a positive. positive. So that's three meters per second. Can you still leave the minus though because that's part of the equation? Yes. Okay. We're just substituting in values. The minus is always there. Now there could be another minus with this number. Yeah. I'm and if you have a minus and a minus, it's a positive, right? Okay. But yeah, that's always going to be there. Okay. okay. Divided by the time it took for this to happen, which is five seconds. Okay, so what are we going to get up here? Negative 5 divided by 5 will give us a negative 1 meters per second squared. Okay? Now, if you got a positive answer when you did this for the homework, okay? Oh, wait, no one got a... Yeah, if you got a positive answer, that doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Why? If the acceleration was to the right, this object would keep going faster and faster to the... Right. But not only did it slow down, but it also started to go the other... Way. So the acceleration had to point to the left. Did the answer come out that way? Yep, came out with a negative, meaning the acceleration is to the left. How many people got it right last night? Excellent. Just a handful, but that's okay. How many people think they would get it right if they saw a problem like this again? All right. Would this be a good one to put on your equation sheet since it was a little yeah. bit tricky? Yeah. Yes, another good one to put on your equation sheet might be uh, either four or five, which we're going to go over now. Okay.